As previously discussed, the Reciprocal Access Agreement between the Philippines and Japan signed a Reciprocal Access Agreement, RA, on Monday in Malacanang. The RA will be the legal basis for troops from both countries to enter each other's territory for joint military exercises. Apart from other defence commitments on additional coastal and air defence radars, paving the way for additional military hardware that Japan may provide to the armed forces of the Philippines and capacity building efforts. Defence Minister Gilberto Teodora Jr. and Japanese Foreign Minister Kamakawa Yoko signed the agreement, witnessed by President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. In line with this, Japan also dedicated itself to providing increased military capabilities to the armed forces of the Philippines by providing various types of additional military hardware. This means that Japanese troops will visit and rotate at Philippine military bases, while Filipino troops will do the same at Japanese military bases. Additionally, this will not only strengthen the humanitarian assistance and disaster response aspects of cooperation between the two countries, but will also involve military and defense exercises. Bilateral relations between the two countries, Japan and the Philippines, are now getting closer in an effort to strengthen military cooperation, especially in relation to national defense, recently increasing so that the Philippine Army has the possibility to obtain more armored vehicles, especially Type 74 tanks. One previously discussed interest was the Philippines' potential to acquire Type 74 tanks from the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force JGSDF for the Philippine Army's armored vehicle needs, which would help supplement the Sabra tanks the service branch is purchasing from Israel. According to circulating information, there may be discussions regarding the provision of Japanese military hardware to the Philippine military, with the Philippine Army as the main recipient of these assets. However, the military hardware mentioned above coming from the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force's inventory is not the only one that would likely fall into the hands of the Philippine Army, as there was only one type of armored vehicle demonstrated by Japan. Some willingness to provide their Filipino counterparts with upgrades to their armored capabilities in addition to what they already have such as the Sabra tanks of ASCOD-2 coming from Israel's Elbert Systems Limited. Local media also stated that the Philippine Army is interested in acquiring a number of armored vehicles referring to the Japanese-made Type 74 tank, as this platform is of interest to the top brass of the Philippine Army, due to this main battle tank, along with the UR Combat Utility Helicopter Minus 1J, those who are in the process of getting the deactivation schedule from active service in the Japanese military. Therefore, the Type 74 tank is worth discussing in order to get it, because the possibility for the Philippine Army to get it exists although it is not necessarily 100% guaranteed because plans change from time to time and there are changes. One of the pieces of information here is the Philippine Army's idea to obtain and maintain at least 144 medium main battle tanks or MMBT units, where the number provided is not sufficient when referring to the number of Sabra tanks ordered by the Philippine Army in its current contract. Arrangement of 28 units. The idea to fill it arose when the idea of purchasing Type 74 tanks from JGSDF stock began to be considered. This shows that this number is still a requirement that the Philippine Army has as part of its operational needs. The idea of purchasing the Japanese Type 74 tank came as its retirement from service became increasingly inevitable with the entry of the Type 10 main battle tank into active service of Japan's ground self-defense forces units, as well as other potential offers the country had on offer to the armed forces of the Philippines, ranging from the locally produced UH-1J Huey helicopter to the potentially up for grabs AH-1S Cobra attack helicopter, which may benefit the Army's Hiriya Aviation Regiment. In short, the purchase of the Type 74 tank is an attractive proposition that can help increase the capabilities of the Philippine Army's armored vehicle capabilities, especially in light of the idea of deploying a number of medium main battle tanks adding to the current number of Sabra tanks. Wheeled and tracked variants ordered from Israel's Elbit Systems Limited. Although idealistic, this concept remains just a plan, unless there is a clear emphasis that this prospect actually becomes a reality. The specifications for the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force or JGSDF Tank Type 74 come as a byproduct of ongoing development resulting from previous prototypes built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, aimed at improving the prospects of the second generation of main battle tanks being designed. 
To replace the Type 61 tank, Japan's first domestically manufactured main battle tank since its defeat in the Second World War and the adoption of a defense-oriented armed force, which it still has today.